Look at that. We have made it to Battle 14. Two solid weeks of Macha Madness. Today's battle we are going to be pitting the second highest offering from Ocha, the Uji Macha Manten. And this is the other one that comes in the super spiffy cardboard box. And that is going up against Blend 93 from Breakaway Matcha, which happens to be their cheapest offering. But of course, Breakaway Matcha, their whole deal is the hyper premium offerings. So it's still a very high grade, even though it is their cheapest offering. So it'll be exciting to see how these two shake out. With that said, let's get to brewing and I'll see you back here and we'll give them a taste. eventful when I went to start aerating the Bled 93. The angle and the speed of the aerator just conspired against me to shoot about half of it out onto the table. So I had to start over on that one. But uh, now we have them all brewed up here. The uh, Montan is looking very, very emerald green, just a deep, deep green. The Blend 93, a little bit lighter in color, more of a lime green on the foam kind of going on. The actual matcha itself, the, the liquid, the liquid actually might be slightly darker on the Blend 93, but you know, there's something more kind of consistent throughout the uh, Montan. So let's smell them. This one just smells sweet. A little bit of vegetal. Usually when I think of sweet vegetals, I go towards that spring pea or pea shoots or young peas, but it's not quite maybe more towards the asparagus in this case. Slightest undertone of some of the spiciness for the Blend 93. I'm getting kind of like cereals, like oat or barley or something like that. Wheat, hay, you know, that general. I know those are some very disparate descriptors, but I guess the point is it's more, at least in my head, right, it's more like towards the golden colors and green colors. Interesting. All right, let's see how they taste now. Salut. Mm. Complex, very sweet. So just a little bit of bitterness on the aftertaste, but it moves so quickly. If you take a bigger sip, you get a slightly more aggressive bitterness, but it moves quicker into sweetness. So it's like bitter and then practically as soon as bitterness registers in your mind, it's already starting to move into sweet. Deeper greens, um, spinach, asparagus, very tasty. That's very, very good. Blend 93, more spicy. And not like peppery spicy, but um, baking good spices like I've mentioned, uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice. Not much bitterness in 93 either. There's a little bit. Uh, the 93 probably has a bit more of the umami characteristics. A little bit of astringency kind of coming through with that little bit of woodsiness. Oh, that's very nice. For their entry level from Breakaway Matcha, this is extremely nice. Go back to the Montan here. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna that's gonna have to win. The Blend 93 for entry level from Breakaway Matcha can't go wrong. Very, very good. But when you go up head to head against the Uji Matcha Manten from Ocha, the Manten is gonna take it. Now that Blend 93 has been kicked out, our bracket looks like this. And I can tell you more about Blend 93. As I mentioned, this is the cheapest option from Breakaway Matcha. For the 30 gram container, you're going to be paying $39. So again, it's their cheapest option, but still a hyper premium offering within the matcha world, which brings our price per gram in at $1.30. Don't know season or cultivar. The origin is from Uji. Reading the description now from the website. The perfect entry level hyper premium matcha. That is, it's got lovely umami, has a vibrant emerald color, has very little bitterness or astringency, and has a nice long finish that leaves a sweet and delicious aftertaste in the mouth, and also makes the breath fresh and sweet. Tastes like a combination of barley soaked asparagus, 
baby summer squash, and oceanic brine, all steeped in an earthy mellowness, a tremendous value at this price. I consciously try not to look at my notes while I'm doing the tasting, so when I read the notes and they mention something that I have just mentioned, I always find that, I don't know, kind of rewarding, like I am picking out what other people are. I, I'm starting to progress in my ability to zero in on some of these flavors. So when it said barley cooked asparagus, and I mentioned barley and the um, cereals at the beginning, which is not kind of a typical descriptor, for me that was very exciting. A little bit of a, a tangent there. That's going to do it for 14, two weeks. Wow, two whole weeks of Matcha Madness. We are closing in on the end of our round one knockouts. We just have two more to go, and then we'll be right into our round two. And I will see you tomorrow for one of our last round one knockouts. See you then.